All right, uh, hello all. Uh, this is going to be looking at the uh, GNOME uh, desktop from the Arch Linux Unstable repository. And uh, I managed to get the software center working. Um, there are a couple things you have to download. And uh, this is just GNOME shell, very basic. And uh, as you see right here is software, and it actually works. Now, uh, the first time I ran this, it said uh, something like, let's go shopping, and okay. And we notice here it says updates 1. OS updates improves stability and performance. And as you notice, it says restart and install. So I'm going to close this and select the power. If you notice here, it says install pending software updates on reboot or power off. So I'm just going to cancel. But to get the... Uh, Repository is working. Um, I don't have a file manager, so <laughs> uh, I don't know. Leafpad will open. Here it is. I haven't installed a browser yet either, uh, but I will in a second. Um, but uh, you can get just get an idea what packages you need from this link here, and uh, you just download them. So I'll uh, download a browser and uh, open up this page, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. First of all, if you want to try this out, uh, add the GNOME Unstable into your mirror list in your Pac-Man configuration file. And uh, just testing, I just installed the uh, Package Kit version 1. And it was updated in September. Uh, this is just, remember, this is unstable. It's on testing. And uh, I would strongly suggest try this in a virtual box. In any case, so package kit, and you notice it's 64-bit, unfortunately. Um, and a GNOME Software Center, and GNOME, GNOME, sorry, package kit itself. So, uh, just three files, and then you can add on top of that. And as I said, some uh, the GNOME terminal doesn't work, but Alex terminal seems to work fine. There's also individual packages. Uh, package updater and packages where you can look for software so package updater and it's been installed although I don't I'm not sure if it asks you to reboot it says down, well, downloading so quit and uh, just to check sudo pacman dash s y u yeah so once <laughs> it didn't install it said it was downloading so I don't know but it gives you an idea and uh, the other video I did go through the packages and you can look through, you know, for something. It's nice to see the software center uh, kind of working because I never knew. I wanted to get an idea what it looked like. So now when I select power off, it doesn't ask to uh, install the updates. So just a quick look at uh, GNOME Software Center again on, on its progress. And uh, I'll put links in the description if you want to try this out. Again, you probably want to use VirtualBox. But if you want to try it on your system, that's your choice as well. Okay. So that's it for this one, and thank you very much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.